I'm going to read the story Bunny Loves to Read. Buster Bunny loved books. He read stories of princes and pirates. He read about trains and dinosaurs and witches and wizards. You read so many books, your head will explode. Books are boring, croaked Francine. Why read books when you can play leapfrog? Reading is not as much fun as racing each other, agreed Max. Don't listen to them, Buster, smiled Sam. Books are the best. For nibbling, hey, laughed Buster. Buster's sister Bella hopped over. Come on, let's leave Buster with his books and play outside. But it was rainy. The friends looked out the window gloomily. Buster saw his chance to bring out a big box full of books. Buster picked up the book he'd been reading. This story is all about pirates hunting for buried treasure. Buried treasure, asked Sam. Like nuts and acorn? Not exactly, replied Buster, but it's very exciting. Frogs hate being stuck inside, grumbled Francine. Why don't you read this story about a prince who turns into a frog, smiled Buster. Yawn, I'm sleepy, said Max. Buster gave him a book about a princess who went to sleep for a hundred years. I'm bored, moaned Bella. Hey, Buster, your box is in my way. I need to be a giant to hop over that. Just like a dinosaur, said Buster. Some of them were bigger than a house. Buster looked out the window. Hey, it stopped raining, he cried. Who's coming out to play? Shh, the pirates haven't found the treasure yet. And the prince is still a frog. T-Rex is roaring. And the princess is still sleeping. Finally, the friends finished reading. So what do you want to play? Asked Buster. Hopscotch? Leapfrog? Tag? but the friends all wanted to be characters from their books. So they all played pirates and dinosaurs and princes and princesses until it was time to go home. Buster Bunny loved books and now his friends did too. The end. Thank you.